Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. This is Kristen and I am back with more of my travel killer kit. And I was sitting here debating on what layout I wanted to create. I have two more um, for this collection of pictures of our trip back from Texas in 2021. And I thought that I would pick one today and then pick one for tomorrow or Monday, but I don't know what the rest of this week will bring, and, or the rest of the few, well, it's already the 27th when I'm recording this, so I thought I would go ahead and see if I could do two layouts um, again in this video. So I am definitely going to use my Simple Stories Going Places, and I have these two pictures of us in the car on our way home from Texas this past summer and I have this much of my sticker sheet from the collection going places collection and I have this cut apart or whoa, or these two pieces of the stripe paper and I also have this one and then I have this piece which I use has the different um, baggage tags and stuff on this side and then this and this floral so that is all I have left in my going places um, collection except I do have some um, of the journaling bits and I may pull some things from there as well so I'm definitely going to create the layout with these papers and I'm going to use as much of these papers up as I can with these two pictures if I get that done, then I may during this layout video also do this one. And this is from the Park Lane Local Travel. Um, I have these little bits left as well as this cut apart. Um, and then I have a couple scraps left and this full sheet and that is all I have left of what I pulled for this collection and then I have these two pictures of my daughter she was taking um she was practicing for her driving test um for when we came back so there's that so hopefully I can get them both done but if it seems to be taking me too long to do this one, then I'll just do this one and I'll make another video maybe tomorrow for the park lane. I will also be bringing in my Echo Park travel um, sheets. And I am definitely not attempting to kill these. I do want to use as many of them as I can, but like some pages I've only used a few, some I've used um, like the majority. So I do want to use some of those um, on this, but we do travel a lot, so I'm not as worried about them being, you know, killed. I do have some other things in my collection that I definitely want to get used. So let's see how far um, I can get today and if I can get both of these layouts done in this video. Then the next video I do will be on the... 29th or 30th, I will do a um, video sharing all the layouts I created, whether they were ones I created on a video or that I just created with this killer kit. So, because I do have a handful or more of those using up more of these stickers and more of the scraps and collections that I had in my killer kit. So, I've got stickers and embellishments, I've got these pictures. I've got my papers, so let's go on this adventure and see where it takes us. All right, so the first thing I did was cut down that floral in the Simple Stories to an eight by eight, which is big enough to cover the hole I had in that teal paper. And that's really all I wanted to do because I wanted to be able to mat my pictures with that same floral. Um, and use up as much of the floral as I could. Well, all of these papers. I will, I am happy to say that I only have a couple little strips 
of the floral left from where I cut it off of these mats. So I put the mat on white paper so it would stand out against that background. And I cut my pictures down to like three and a half by six. So I got those matted and I used this one strip of that stripe paper and put it about, it's pretty close to in the middle. I am an eyeballer. I decide to mat my happy travels on a little bit more of that striped paper and I ink around it, which I think is what I'm doing right now, with my Black Soot by Ranger uh, Tim Holtz Distress. Not just, yeah, Distress Black Soot. So I ink around the outside of the stripe paper as well as the Happy Travels. And then I mat it on that stripe paper so it would stand out against the one and a half inch, I think it's about one and a half inches, that stripe I put down the middle. And I like that because it breaks up that floral. And I am literally just taking the ink pad to the um, edge of the paper, or of this cut apart. And I put that down kind of wonky, and I'm just putting a little piece of tape in the middle of everything so that you all aren't having to watch me deal with taking off all the little backings and stuff. That little strip right there is pretty and what you can see in that bottom right corner of the florals that is all I have left of this paper and a couple of br branding strips which I actually I'm going to use one of you will see <laughs> spoiler alert so I am getting these pictures matted and put and put down and I got the happy travels on there and now I have no clue what I'm doing oh so, okay, I decided that I wanted to use this all this paper, and so it brings that stripe in again, and I had originally just put it on the bottom and decided that I'd cut it in half. It was a three by four cut apart on the other side. I just cut it in half and put it on the top right corner and the bottom left corner, and I really love the way that it brings the stripes all together. Uh, kind of keeps it all in the same, you know, like it all connects. And I just love being able to use up all these papers. So I take the branding strip that has that same pattern as the background paper, that teal with the passports and the globes and stuff on it. And it's not long enough to go underneath the Happy Travels all the way to the end. So I tuck it in and put it, it's not exactly in the middle, um, but I'm okay with that. I am a, seriously an eyeballer. And I put it in there, and I cut it in a place where I feel like I'm going to be able to put an embellishment um, right there to bridge that gap. I didn't want to put it right in between the pictures because I knew that if, you know, I didn't know what embellishment I would use. And I wanted to be able to use something bigger or taller. Um, so I moved it down to where it was only underneath the one picture. So, now I am using I got my sticker sheet out for the going places and I was determined to use this border with the scallops because it has the exact same color pattern as the navy blue with the florals except it's just little like sprinkles or polka dots it's not polka dots because they're almost like squares like wonky squares so I get that down there but it's not going to cover from end to end so just like with the other thing I with the other branding strip I cut it in the middle and decide I would cover that with an embellishment. So I get the florals out because they definitely match here. And I put those down because I definitely want those on this page. Definitely, definitely. I put a piece of blue and red luggage down there to gap the difference, uh, the space in between the, brand, the border at the bottom. And I put a word phrase up at the top above me and my daughter that says work hard, play harder. And I put one down at the bottom on the border strip that says be a traveler. Um, that little one I just put down now says you coming question mark. And it's got a question mark on it. And I put the, this um, camera down to gap that space in the branding strip. Put an arrow at the top. And a little piece of, oh no, the luggage comes in later. Uh, the other piece of luggage and I'm trying to think of what else I put down on here. I'm just trying to use up as much as I can that is fitting. You know, like I don't want to just stick something on here that doesn't fit, match, or have a purpose. 
And then I put that little pink one next to the camera says Wanderlust. And then I put the globe down there because it also has that same floral that I'm wanting to use. So then I get my Echo Park out. I'm looking to see if I've missed anything that I told you, I told you about. And, oh, I did not get that Be A Traveler off of there. I must have got the Be A Traveler off of something else. So this is a sticker that says My Travel Stories. And it's got a little piece of luggage on there. And I'm trying to tuck it into where it covers the gap from the floral paper up to the top of the picture. And so I turned it a little sideways so it wouldn't cover the words in the sticker. And I'm just going through, and this is where I pull Be A Traveler off because I felt like that teal really matches this paper. So I put it down there on that border. And let's see, what else do I pull? I pull a piece of luggage that matches, matches the luggage on the My Travel Stories. And I've already put that above the Happy Travels. I'm looking on my layout right now and I don't see anything else, but that doesn't mean, at least not for this moment, I'll come back in a little bit and add a couple more things. I really want to use those tile alphas on that sheet I just moved, but I haven't been able to. Of course, I'm getting to a point now where it's a lot of those letters that are harder to use. So I do use a few on the next layout. So I'm done with that layout for the most part. And now I pull out my Park Lane, well, uh, local travel. I have cut down the cut apart, that strip of like greeny yellow in the top corner that says Create, Inspire, Explore is going to be part of my title. I also pulled that pink um, journaling space over there right next to that. So I'm wanting to use this camera paper and it's, I pretty much use that entirely except for a scrap I had. And I'm trying to place it to where you can see Texas, the word Texas, because this has all the states on it, um, where you can see Texas and Kentucky on the paper. So I'm super smart and get that done. And then, you know, you got to put pictures on here. And so, yeah, Texas pretty much gets covered up. But that's okay. We were pretty much on our way home. Well, we were on our way home, but we were almost all the way back to Kentucky. So I made a point of keeping Kentucky um, visible right underneath the bottom picture, actually. So I get all of the strips on there. Um, I'm really wanting to use, like I said, the majority of all these papers. So I put that green minty colored strip in the middle that's got the road and the cars. And this is all fitting, not just because we're traveling, but because my daughter in these pictures is taking this course to lessen her cost for her insurance and her driving. And it, um, so she, that's what she's doing in the car is taking this test. So she doesn't have to go to like traffic school um, before she gets her permit. I mean, her license, she already had a permit. So I placed that picture to where, like I said, Kentucky is right underneath it. And I tuck that journaling spot underneath my picture. And it had palm trees on it, but that got cut off for something else. I, like I used a strip of paper on the back side. Um, and I put that Create, Inspire, Explore right above her picture. And I'm point at, oh, I haven't got the stickers out, so I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. Oh, there they are. So, <laughs> Gosh. So <clears throat> I put a go see do at the bottom and that's going to kind of go with the theme because like I said, she's getting her driver's test when we get home. This is like the 17th and her appointment is the 19th to get her license or at least attempt, which she did get her license. Um, I put gone exploring up at the top above our picture. I'm just being goofy pointing at her. I think I was sending a picture to my husband telling him that she, what she was doing, maybe. I decided to go with the Go See Do and take these little labels or tabs and put them straight across the top. I made sure not to cover any state that we drove through, like we drove through Mississippi. So, um, I didn't cover that. And I pull an arrow out in a minute and point that from the Create. Um, and I point it at her because she is... I don't know why, just because she, she's creating a cheaper uh, insurance. I don't know. I'm just trying to use things, and I love arrows on a page. I think they're fun. Um, 
So there's an arrow at the bottom that says hello world. I pulled that off of the going places sticker sheet as well. And I'm trying to see what else I have pulled. So I go through my Echo Park sticker sheets. Trying to see if there's anything else. Decide I've got just what I need in this teal color to write oh boy. And I am going to journal. I don't do it on camera. Um, I am going to journal about how she was taking her, taking a test. Um, she had to, it took her hours, like four hours or something. It was like a class, an online class. So it's pretty much what you take if you, um, you know, get a speeding ticket and want to take a class to get out of paying. You still pay, but you don't get any points off your license. Um, at least that's how it was when I was younger. So it's just, if you take that class before you do your driver's test and you get the proof of it, then um, there you either get discounts or points towards your license. I don't even remember what it is, but there was she had to have the class, whether she took it online or in person, she had to have the class. So she did on the way back from Texas. So fun stuff. So she, let's see, so I put Oh Boy on here in the little green tiles, which is not an exact match to the teal in the paper, but it's pretty close. And that is all I pull from there. These um, older looking sticker sheets are really neat, but they haven't really fit a lot of what I've been doing. Um, I did pull that earth off of there and tucked it on the Create, Inspire, Explore. I thought putting that right above the word Explore was fitting. And I'm going to pull this little car off and tuck it in. I'm making sure not to cover Kentucky. And it covers the corner of the journaling, but that's okay. And I tuck it under the picture a little bit, and that's okay. Um, I just felt like having a car on here was good, um, since that's what she's learning to drive. And I pull a little sticker that says bucket list and it's aiming at her. Uh, being in this class is not on her bucket list, but getting her license definitely is. Um, I want this passport, says so passport for adventure. And I put that on the corner of the journaling space. I don't need a lot of journaling room. So the five or six lines that are on this journaling square will be perfect. And I don't want that big open white gap at the bottom because this is upside down. I flipped it upside down since that's where it was cut. And so um, that gap was, should have been at the top of the journaling square. But since I turned it around, it's not. So I wanted to fill it in. And I'm pretty much done with what I'm going to pull from these Echo Park sticker sheets. And I think that I feel like it needs something else. So I do still, I pull a camera off, put that down. And then I pull the Going Places um, uh, journaling bits. I always want to call them ephemera. But their title, official title is journal bits, journaling bits. So I pulled those out and I found a couple. One I put on my first layout that says I love travel. And then the other one I pulled out says fragile. And it's like a little baggage tag. And I also pulled out from a sticker sheet the word fun and the word giggle. Because this other layout that I did first, we had, were having such a good time being so ridiculous. And I really wanted to use those words. I think that's why I pulled the sticker sheet and put it in my kit. Was for a lot of those words. So I wanted to make sure I got them used. And the word giggle fit perfectly right above that globe. So I also pulled a K and Company a pink one above the picture on the right. And it says whatever. Because that's kind of the attitude she was giving me. Because I was hackling her. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. So now I have both my layouts on my table. I put down that fragile. Like I said, she was getting frustrated with me and getting frustrated with the questions. Cause if you didn't listen, just real careful, then, you know, you could mess up and it was aggravating her. So I put fragile cause her, her ego was kind of fragile at the time. And I don't really like the fact that I left that little gap there between the top picture and the fragile tag. Uh, the Texas is right there. You can see the T E and part of the X and I will come in with some stickles and add that in there as well. So it's not as trapped space looking. 
Um, I'm, I'm fine with the page now, but before I put the stickles in there, I did not like that. <laughs> so I get gold stickles for this Create, Inspire, Explore page because there's gold in the journaling box. And so I go ahead and add that there. And then I use red on the other page because it has the red accents and the red flowers and there's red in the floral and in the stripe. So I go ahead and use the red. And once I get the stickles down, other than journaling and I go back and, you know, double side tape all of the corners and stuff, um, I think I'm done. Oh, nope, I'm getting my Park Lane gemstones out and I get an orange gemstone because that fragile has a tag hole and I don't want the tag hole exposed. So I cover that with an orange gemstone because there is orange arrows and an orange in the whatever and an orange in that bucket list that's right underneath there. So I figured I would bring that in, the orange in there too. Oh, look at me. I was standing up to make sure I was still in the feed. So there it is the first layout with the simple stories going places. And then I'm going to show you the layout with the Park Lane uh, local travel. And that's it. I hope you all had a great day and an awesome weekend. And I hope that you all will continue with this end journey with me. I have one more video and that'll be it. Happy scrapping.